What's good, y'all? My name Austin. Austin Cruz, to be exact. And this is a story about seeing if I could become one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever grace the gridiron. Now, I ain't gonna lie. My whole life, I got whatever I wanted thanks to my parents. Now, I ain't even trying to brag, but, I mean, I come from money. Growing up in the suburbs of Wisconsin, it was just me, moms, and pops. My pops, he on the country club out in inner city. I mean, he used to hoop back in the day, but ended up tearing his ACL his rookie year in the league. Man, what he could have been. But he a businessman, though, so he's straight. And my mom's, she basically just a stay-at-home mom ever since pops got the country club going. I mean, they've been married for 20 years. They met in high school, and the rest is history. And then there's me, a 17-year-old kid who really don't care about nothing as long as I make it to the top, if we being honest. I mean, my pops always made sure I was a starting QB ever since I touched the football. It helped because he was my coach from Pee Wee football all the way up until my senior year. Now that I got a new coach, he want me to show him how good I am. So here go the first game of my senior year in high school. So this new coach already been talking about sending me out some games because he want to let everybody else go for their senior year too. But I'm like, man, I don't care about none of that. I'm trying to make sure I go to where I want to go. So I'm out in the first quarter. I do a nice little handoff to Howell. He did not get the first down. I should have kept the ball, honestly. Now, I ain't going to lie. I'm used to being like a Lamar Jackson type dude. But this coach want me to try to stay in the pocket. And it's not my game, honestly. Just look at this bad pass I just throw off of it. And I feel like he's trying to sabotage me. I ain't going to lie. But at least he let me still do my option play. So I handed it off to Wilson right here. And he get the first down after I get leveled. And since this is my senior year, my parents and everybody else in the media is starting to ask where am I thinking about going, but I haven't made that decision yet. All I'm really trying to focus on now is making sure my stats better for when them scouts come and watch these games. So then I'm past my boy Guy in, however you say his name. This is a new receiver we got from South Africa, but he good though, so I'm glad to play with him my last year. So we try to run another option play, and my boy Howe, he just does not have the speed right now, I guess. So I'm finna start keeping the ball for myself. Not to mention my boy Howe is a freshman though, so he'll get it together by the end of the season. Now I'm missing easy passes because I'm really the throw on the run type player, but they want me to work on my pocket presence, so I, that's why they're making me do this. But honestly, it's making me look terrible, and it's making these scouts show that my weakness. And I'm not trying to show my weakness, but I mean, I do have to work on it, but I'm not trying to work on it in the open. I'm trying to work on it at practice, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm ranked top three quarterback in the nation right now so you know i'm gonna get that first touchdown and then my goal at the end of this year is to be number one in the nation but we got tough competition but like i said i ain't worried about none of them because i know what i can do and i know what i'm capable of and i'm coming for their spot and i know this might sound a little crazy but at the end of the day i'm already knowing that a good college is gonna pick me up so i don't even care if we win no title i'm just gonna keep throwing these dots to my boy how like i just threw right there and I'm only saying that because, I, first off, I already won the title when I was a freshman playing varsity. Sophomore year, I didn't do nothing really because I got injured. But last year, yeah, we won it again. So it was like, what, what level do I have to prove this year? I already know I'm getting picked up. So we coming out here with a nice little screen pass. My boy Howe, like I said, he a freshman, so y'all got to bear with him. He doing too many jokes out there when he should just hit that ball in the hole and just run. And that's when my senior year really hit me. Hey, but we ain't going to talk about this play right here, though. This is a terrible pass by me. A nice interception. And now we got to wait on the defense. So our defense did good. So far, I got one touchdown and one interception. And look at this. Look at this cheese right here. I tried to hand the ball off to the running back, but it wouldn't let me for some odd reason. But now we're going to run it back. And like I said before, Coach wanted me to try this new pocket stuff, which is not my game. And it's honestly hurting my stock of getting picked up by a nice college. So I'm finna start doing me. And y'all gotta realize I got new playbooks, new everything, cause my dad is not the coach no more. So this new coach is coming there and doing everything. And honestly, some people might say I was only good cause I have my dad behind me coaching. But look at me turning the dress right here. I told y'all once I play in my element, it's so hard to stop me. And look at this cheese right here. I broke his ankles too, but it was like a magnet. He just stuck right on me. That was supposed to be touchdown. That was supposed to be all the way six. Now let's watch this replay. I said, let me take matters in my own hands. I break him, break back, and break him too. Now watch this play up here when I'm supposed to break free and take it all the way. Look at that. That's cheese right there. I was supposed to break that too and juke him and take that all the way for the touchdown. 
So after that monster gain, I said, let me throw the ball in the air this time. Hit my boy Howe again. Look at the unnecessary juking. If he would have caught the ball and ran straight forward all speed, that would have been touchdown. But I can't complain. We got the nice little yardage on there. So then I hit my boy Guyan, and he almost was going to break the tackle again and take it for a touchdown. But nice yardage from him, too. And he a good pickup, too. This is senior year as well. But I threw a pick last time, so this time I got to throw the touchdown. So I hit my boy Weisbecker for the nice touchdown. And now we rolling. Now we up 16-0. And I'm having a decent first game, throwing 8 for 15 on 140 yards with two touchdowns only one interception. Hey, but this game is far from over. Ain't no way in hell I threw that bogus pass. And now look at that. Just like I said, this game is far from over, and I'm sitting on two touchdowns and two picks. And now we throwing a screen pass. My boy Sticky Glicky paused, and he almost going to pick up the first down, but he's going to be just short for second and inches. Now I'm coming out this pass running to the right when I should have hit square because he's calling for it, but I made a nice little mistake. Still picked up the first down, but it wouldn't have been a big of a game if I would have hit square running across the middle. Now, I will say, coming up in these type of plays, I have to stay in the pocket. I am getting better throughout this first game. But look at my boy Howell again. He's doing the extra juking, and that's what's costing him from gaining them bigger yards. Now, you can see my boy Howell. He's only 15 playing with us almost grown men. That's why he don't know what he's doing out there, really. But look, he picked up the nice first down. I like to look at him as like a, another Christian McCaffrey because... Yeah, I probably think I said that for the only one reason, but no, that ain't the reason. Because that boy can do a running the ball and catching the ball. But look at this play right here for me. I'm running to the right, and I'm going to keep the ball, and I'm going to juke left, and I'm going to score for the touchdown. Like I said, they said I got shades of Lamar Jackson, Donovan McNabb, and Steve McNair. Now I'm going to put on the showcase and show y'all what I'm about. So we up 24-0 on Glenda, and we shredding them boys. But look, like, just like I told you, I'm going to show y'all I can pass the ball, too. They said my weaknesses was arm strength, but now I'm going to show y'all that I've been working on that all offseason. My stats looking great so far. 12 completions on 20 attempts, 261 yards with two touchdowns and two picks, and I even got a rushing touchdown in there, too. And did I say I had two touchdowns? <laughs> my bad. I mean, I had three touchdowns. Hit my boy Guy in for his first touchdown his senior year over in the States. And now that boy going to be looking good. I'll make him look good all season. I'm going to make sure he get drafted. So now we're going to come up. I was finna take the run, but that boy was lurking. So I hit my boy Sarrier right there. And he tried to get some yards. He break the tackle, but now it's awesome to be third and six. Now we got to see if we can do, see if we can get this first down in the third quarter. So now we coming up third and six. See if we can do the push the ball past the first down. And I hit circle right here, which is a bad pass. And thank you to the gods because I didn't throw an interception. That boy ain't got no hands. That's probably why he playing DB because he can't catch the ball. And speaking of not being able to catch the ball, look at this play right here. And ultimately, thank you to my boy, Mariball, Mariball, however you say his name, because he came through and picked that ball up and saved me from a turnover. So now I got to make up for it right here. I'm going to hit that boy. Weisbecker for the nice open catch and he breaking tackles but he not gonna get the first down but we get a nice 34 yard reception on that play so after that nice pass that brings me to 306 yards for the day and that's honestly some good yardage for a high school player and look at this nice pass wide open to my boy Gio Saria for the touchdown and now I'm looking at four touchdowns only two picks so I call Otto right here because I'm like, nah, let's run another option play. This bet, this is what I'm good at right here. So I throw the option play. Now we running. And I said, I'm going to keep it. Give me a nice little block. You don't get it. But I break the tackle. And I was looking for another block again right there. But I didn't get it. But I still did get the 24-yard rush on that play. And that play right there was a terrible read by me. I should have handed it off. But I'm trying to be a big head and get my stats and stat pad. But that's what I get for trying to stat pad. So my boy Oshinter was saying that he didn't get the ball a lot. So I tried to hit him right here. And this is why he don't get the ball a lot. He can't hold on to the ball to save his life. And that's the game, folks. Like I said, I knew Coach. Remember what I said before in the beginning? I said Coach wasn't going to keep me in all game because he wanted to make sure everybody get playing time this year. But now they're going to show you how to play the game right here. Honestly, the other one, the longer yard I did was to play the game. But, hey, we're going to take that. We can take it all because this my year. And I promise you, look at these stats. 16 for 28, 314 yards, 7 carries, 5 total touchdowns, and 2 picks. This was the first game of the season. And honestly, that's not bad for the first game of my senior year in high school. Brookfield 38, Glendale 0.
appreciate y'all for coming out to watch this new series. And I'll see you on the next video. Cause this series gonna be good.